Hello and welcome to the Roy Rogers News Channel. Thank you so much for watching. And today, for the Pokemon Technology Series, I'm going to dive into an established technology brand that has been established since October 12th of 1981 in Luzanne, Switzerland. I hope I said the city correct. And the technology brand is called Logitech. And the device we're gonna be reviewing today is the Logitech G Cloud. Now, I'm only reviewing this for the Pokemon aspects. If you want to see other aspects like Xbox gaming and all that, then there are other YouTube channels that mention that a lot better than I would. But I should note that before you purchase this device, you are going to have to spend an eye-watering 350 United States dollars just to order this device as the time of this taping. I know that some people have asked the price for the previous device, so that's why I'm mentioning it here in this video. Oh yeah, also, the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus, some people are a bit discouraged that the screen real estate is too small. Well, the good news with this device is that pretty much the majority of the real estate of this device is encompassed by this screen size. So. I can assure you, you are getting a large screen here with this device. And also, it is larger than my Galaxy 9 that I play Pokemon on. So it is certainly a large screen and I might actually use this if I like it. So I love that large screen real estate. I'm looking forward to diving into it in this review. But before I do that, first I must mention a required gadget in order to get Pokemon off the ground. And that would be the SD card mini. Now you can get this either in Walmart or you can order it on Amazon, but you're gonna have to transfer ROMs over to this device and you can use this adapter to plug into your computer. Now I know that some people are probably hearing that and they probably have a mini heart attack and they're saying, Roy, I can't plug in an SD card on my computer. That doesn't happen, I can't do that. My computer doesn't have an SD card port. Well, you are fortunately covered, my friend, because there's a brand new brand that Amazon has, and it is called the Smart Q, Smart Quickly. And you can plug in that SD card mini right there, and you can be able to plug it in just like a USB stick on a computer. And you can just transfer data over there, and you can just unplug the SD stick. But the SD mini is what you need for the device. And now that I have discussed the required gadgets, now let's go ahead and talk about the gadgets that could help enhance your experience with the device, but they're not necessarily needed. First off, I should talk about the stylus. Now, I'm probably gonna be using the stylus throughout the duration of this review, and the brand of the stylus is called On, and it's Walmart's brand, you can get it in Walmart. It comes in a pack of five, and I picked one that best matches the device. And I also have the charger as well. And thankfully, Logitech, unlike the Retroid Pocket 2, has the housing that you can plug into a wall. So you can be able to charge this thing without worrying about blowing up the device. Because I know that some devices require certain wattages. So make sure you read the manual and see what wattage is required for the device. Let's go ahead and dive into the other devices that are not even going to enhance the experience with the device itself, but more so enhance your experience while playing the device without having the X out of it or charge it. And we're gonna start off with the desk organizer set, and I got this in Walmart. It was in clearance for about nine bucks. But you can be able to store the device like this. And other things that you can store, like the charging ports. Let me get that. And the stylus. The SD card, which is probably gonna be in the device anyways, but you know, just for argument's sake, I'm gonna bring it over here and USB stick, and there you go. Oh yeah, and a notebook, which you can also get from Walmart. In fact, this is Walmart's brand. 
and you can be able to write notes and you can say, hey, I need to breed this or I need to have a meeting. No problem. You'll be able to put that right there and you can be able to access that notebook anytime. And now let's go ahead and dive into the little paper pads here, which you can also get from Walmart. And you can also get a Casio calculator. I'm more of a kinesthetic guy, although you can be able to access a calculator there on the device. But just in case you want a calculator, you can be able to access that. I got this from Walmart as well. So there you go. And I also have a headset. And I know that some people purchasing the device probably want the best of the best of headsets. Now, I can't really say this brand is the best of the best because this has been purchased since the probably the early 2000 and teens. So I should note that there are probably better headphone brands out there, but hey, you know, if you want the best headset, you can certainly use it with the device as long as it has a headphone jack. And last but certainly not least, if you are a frequent traveler, and I know some people on PokeMO that travel a lot, well, you can't use that Game Boy Advance's P bag that was my childhood bag. You have to use a large bag. Now, this laptop bag, well, the reason why the brand was ripped off there was because of a former employer. The employer wasn't really treating me properly. And as a result, when I left, I took out the employer's name, but the employer's name was on there. So that's why I have that. But hey, and you know, one of the nice things that they did was they gave a really nice laptop bag and you can go ahead and put the device right here. I'm sure that, that the airport security can allow you to have it in your aircraft right there. There we go. And you can stow the device comfortably right there in the notebook and everything. In fact, we can do that at the end of the video. Okay, I know this has been a pretty long gadget tour, but now it's time to actually dive into the device itself. And let's go ahead and get PokeML running on this. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So first we're going to boot up the device and how you can do that is by clicking on the, actually not even clicking, just, you know, just do that and then you can be able to access that. All right, now we're in the home screen, but I know some people are probably wondering, how can I be able to download PokeML? Well, you gotta go to the PokeML website and I'm gonna go ahead and link this page down description below in case you are watching this and you are watching it on this particular device. So we can do that. All right, folks, I am back and I'm here on PokeML's website. Now, we're gonna have to scroll down here and we're gonna have to download the APAC. Now, make sure you select the Android for the download page. And you have to download the APAC right there. And click download, download anyways. Install, there we go. We're installing it on this device, so. Go ahead and open it up. There you go. And now you are ported right here to the ROM screen. Now, this is where this thing comes in. I'm loving the screen already. So here is the SD card mini. We're gonna plug it in. And the way you plug it in is that you have to flip this over and I'm gonna have to take off my glove here able to pry it open with my fingernail so let me back all right i am back and man it was hard because i just turned my fingernails last night but hey i got the thing open so the best thing about this device is that it clicks when it accesses that port so let's go ahead and put in that little sd card in here right now and we're going to plug this in here so let's go ahead and do that real quick it's going to be very hard. There we go. There we go. It's hard to do this with one hand, but you heard the little click there. It's really difficult. Now you just put that right there so that way the device is flush. And now let's go ahead and install those ROMs. Here's what we're going to need to do. Do you see this little cog here? We're going to have to click for the altering string 
to be disabled right there. And then we can select file. All right, and as you can see, there are all the ROMs there. And we're gonna click on Pokemon Black. Yes. By the way, for anyone asking what the unknown is, it is Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. But you only need one of those ROMs in order to activate that section. And that will allow you to see followers, although as of time of this taping, Johto has been announced, so when Johto is released, then this ROM can be able to help you get into the region. So let me go ahead and download all the ROMs, and then I'm going to get back to you. All right, folks, I have just enabled all the ROMs, so I'm just going to click on X. There we go. Let's go and click on Poke MO. This is the very first time I'm doing this, folks. All right. Save right there. And if you don't want the music, you can always go to the settings, sound, and then click on music volume. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and log on PokeML so that way you can get a general synopsis of how your gaming experience is going to be here on this device. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, folks. I'm at, whoa, look at that large screen right there. Let's see, does Pokemo respond? Yes, Pokemo does respond with that. Now, we're gonna go ahead and fix that so that way this works. So let's go and do that real quick and you can do that by clicking on the cog. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. And the cog is right there. Now let's go ahead and click on the and we're going to do the key up, which is this. All right. We're just going to think of this as like an eye test, except controller version. Okay. And then you just click on that floppy disk. And now you can be able to move this along like a Game Boy analog stick. There we go. Perfect. I'm loving this. So, there we go. And just in case you want to calc something real quick, you can be able to click on that home button, which I have to say is a lot more pleasurable to click than the other one. And there you go. And now you have a calculator. And you can be able to punch in whatever numbers you would like. And one more thing you can't do on the Retroid Pocket 2 unless you want to sacrifice some comfort, and that would be the notepad. So you can be able to write some notes down. So let's just say you want to write a note, read a sand slash. And then we have 5x31. Done. And then you can just have that and then click on save. And there you go. And then you can be able to save that little note there. Go back to home. And then you can be able to go ahead and flip that up there. And then go right back on Poke ML. And you can be able to play as usual. And you have all these buttons right there. You can be able to hold it like this. Man, I'm loving this console. This is great. Man, I'm going to actually use this instead of Vanguard to play Pokemon. This is great. <laughs> oh, man. All right. And let's go ahead. Before we sign off, I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to drag out my Alpha Fowler because why not? Okay. That's one of the things I want to do. The second thing I want to do is go back to home. Actually, let's go ahead and log off and then we're going to have to shut down the device. So let's go and do that real quick. There we go. You just log out there. And then we can be able to power off the device. Going like that. There we go. And now, let's go ahead and put away the device. So, 
I'm gonna be back in a moment. All right, I'm back and I put this stuff away as if you're going to the airport, headset and notepad, stylus, pen, and the charger right there. Now, there's a pocket that is big enough to fit this thing, so let's go ahead and do that. There you go, this thing fits very nicely. And then, you just close it. Oh, wait, 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 we gotta zip this first. There we go, we zipped it. And then we can close that. Little, two little buttons there. That's why I like to keep computer bags, because you never know when you can use them. All right, there we go. And this thing is now ready for travel. And before I sign off, I want to make a disclaimer here that I am not sponsored by any of the products featured here. But man, I can assure you I'm probably going to be using this device a lot because I love how the device looks. The controls are awesome. So thank you to the folks over at Logitech. And I should note that a lot of people have mentioned to me that you can go ahead and play PokeMO on other devices. Yes, but the issue with those other devices is that it's going to require you to know some programming knowledge and some Linux knowledge. So it's harder to get PokeMO on those devices than it would on the Logitech. Although you do need to click on that cog for alternative setting strings. But besides that, getting PokeMO on this is really easy. And thank you to the folks over at Logitech you all have made an excellent device. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. This is the Aurora Rogers News Channel. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to the channel, like the content that you see here. And this is the Aurora Rogers News Channel signing off. Fast, accurate, unbiased, Roy Rogers News. I don't feel as bad purchasing it for 350 bucks now.